Sycamore basketball continues to come together as a team each day in ISU Arena, working towards the exhibition this weekend against the Boilermakers. And to help get the guys ready for the game this weekend, Coach Lansing was able to have former Sycamore Nate Green and a crew of officials at practice this afternoon. We have to. We're, you know, we're out here trying to coach. We're not necessarily officiating. We'll call a foul every now and then, but we need to clean that up. And the Power Five leagues, when I was at Iowa, you have them there about every day, but you pay them. You know, out of here, we're not we're not we're not going to uh, use our money for paying for officials every day. But good to get Nate and called. Nate wants to do it, get some work in. It's good to get those guys in here. It's much appreciated, and we needed it. You could see the whistle's blowing a little bit today. There is so much excitement on campus, which was evident during March on Madness Wednesday night in ISU Arena. And Coach Lansing likes how his team is using that optimism in the coming to work each day. I thought they were good today. I thought they were good today. We got to take care of the ball a little bit better, uh, put them in some, uh, some situations that maybe we think Purdue's going to do offensively and defensively. We know them. I mean, they know us, but we're still more worried about us. But I thought they were pretty sharp today. and. Got to have another good one tomorrow before we uh, uh, head to West Lafayette. This weekend is for a special cause, raising money for hurricane relief, but it also gives Coach Lansing's team a taste of one of the most difficult college environments in Mackey Arena before Assembly Hall waits on November 10th. I mean, you're playing one of the best teams in the country. I don't, I don't know if we're ready for it yet. You know, you may never be ready for uh, going into a place like that and playing that team because I think they're. They're, they're right in the mix to win the Big Ten and even contend on a national scale. But to us go up there, uh, do what we do as well as we can do it. If it's not good enough to beat them, so be it. But uh, play hard and compete at a high level and gives you kind of a standard of where you're at. So I'm hoping there's a good crowd in there. They should. Uh, they should be awfully excited about it. I don't know if it'll be quite as loud as a, a real game for them, but they have a great home court environment. And then obviously heading to Bloomington for our, our season opener, that's a nut house. That's as loud as any places I've ever been uh, as a coach. And, um, you know, it's a great cause, great cause. Wish we could even do more. And also I think the coaches are going to wear purple uh, polos uh, in honor of Daryl Raglan, uh, David Raglan's father who passed away of pan pancreatic cancer. Be sure to stay up to date with the 19 Sycamores and 19 Day Series. We will also have some recap coverage of the exhibition game on Saturday. But for now, reporting on Sycamore basketball from ISU Arena, I'm Luke Martin.